Why Psyche K could be Goku. Psyche K is the main character of the disastrous life of Psyche K, the gag manga and anime and reanimation. Psyche K is the main character and gag character of the show, and effectively has the power to do almost anything. He's a psychic born to two normal human parents. But you're probably thinking, Psyche K is still in some sense human, and Goku is, you know, a Saiyan. Super fast, he could just speed blitz Psyche. Fight over, he wins. But it's not that simple. I'll get into that later. But let's list the abilities of each character. Goku has Super Strength, Speed, Durability, Sense, Endurance, Heat and Cold Resistance, Flight, Key Control, Instant Transmission, Expert Hand-to-Hand -hand Combatant, Telepathy, Ultra Instinct, Hakai, Kamehameha Wave, a list of other abilities way too long to state in this video, even though I want that sweet, sweet watch time. But effectively, Goku scales above humans in every conceivable way. I mean, take a really strong human, Goku is above that by a thousand times because he's a Saiyan. And he has superpowers. He's capable of holding his own with gods, for crying out loud. So effectively, Goku is not a weak opponent or someone so easily beaten. Psyche K would have to overpower him, speed blitz him, or do a whole host of other things to even have the chance or upper hand in the fight. But you're probably thinking... Yeah, Josh, he would need to do all those things he's not capable of as you just scaled Goku above humans and admitted Psyche to be a human. So what's the deal? Well, let me tell you, folks, Psyche's a gag. And I'm going to be using that as an argumentative tool as to why he could be Goku. Effectively a similar slash samey argument to why Saitama could be Goku, the one that absolutely everybody loved. Also, Saitama's planetary, here's proof. So the first part is Psyche being a gag. The laws of physics don't apply to him. Blah blah blah. Doesn't matter. Psyche could just win off that, but whatever. Psyche's abilities, or at least some, are listed here. Super strength, speed, durability, astral projection, clairvoyance, curse, electrification, flight, hypnosis, invisibility, genetic manipulation, petrification, psychic hold, restoration, teleportation, time travel, transformation, and psychochemistry. Like Goku, he has a whole host of other powers that I can't mention here because there's just so many. Damn, rip my watch time. But the thing is, also similar to Goku, Psyche K can effectively be given any power that he needs for the plot to solve the problem, but lucky for you guys, I'm not using the plot in this fight, because that would mean Goku gets some ability from some 5D Cthulhu and he beats Psyche, which isn't what we're doing here. But the thing is, the author has given Psyche anywhere from ridiculously strong to just ridiculous powers, and Psyche effectively has something for everything. But then again, that's not really enough to justify Psyche having an end Goku eye laser. So let's move on. But Josh, gags don't work across universe. I, I don't care. I, I I really don't care. Psyche could beat Goku as both a gag and a super-powered character. It doesn't matter, but I, I don't care. Also, everyone claiming that gags don't work across the universe thing, that's just an arbitrary rule that everyone made up. It's just an arbitrary rule that people in the versus battle community place on what they classify as versus battle, but I'm under no obligation to follow it, so suck my dick. I don't care. It's not a law. That's how I'm coming at it in this argument. For this video, Psyche K versus Goku, gags are allowed. So first off, the most obvious and easy way Psyche K could be Goku is with time travel. Psyche is able to travel through time, he can travel to the past and kill baby Goku. Or just a weaker form of Goku without even trying, it's up to him. If you're expressing concern for this claim with the idea that Psyche would be unable to find baby Goku or kid Goku or whatever because how would Psyche know where to look, just look at the power of psychochemistry, where Psyche K can take off his gloves and touch any object to learn about the history and memories tied to said object. Combine this with Psyche's clairvoyance and he wouldn't even need to find an object related to Goku as he could just cross his eyes once he's in the past to find Goku since he can sense objects or people anywhere. Anywhere. But let's say for some reason he can't find Goku with clairvoyance and he needs to still find him. Boom. Let's just say that Psyche touches objects around the Dragon Ball universe, uses clairvoyance to find the Dragon Balls, travel through time to a point or past near when Goku touched the Dragon Balls, follow Goku from then on to the past and take him out. But Josh, how would Psyche know where to look? How is he going to know what objects to look for? Well, the thing is, is that Psyche knows about the Dragon Ball universe, since he made a direct reference to it in this scan right here. The thing is, though, let's just say this scan is irrelevant and doesn't matter to the fight or blah blah blah. Psyche could literally just ask around until he gets the information he needs. He could just travel through time asking people if they know of someone named Goku and blah blah blah. You ask enough people, he can find them, trace Goku back, and boom kill Goku when he's a kid. But there's a million ways Psyche could win with time travel here using his array of powers. He could also petrify Goku and turn him into stone in the past and kill him while he's in stone, ice him, blah blah blah, whatever he wants to do. He can do whatever, he's a gag. Serious rules don't apply to him, he's above the laws of physics which he can even change himself anyway. But let's say we get the time travel to the past to kill kid Goku out of the question. Whatever. Psyche can walk into the fight with his glasses off and just stare down Goku. Goku gets turned to stone, Goku can't even be restored to his previous state for another 24 hours because the restoration 
Regeneration ability doesn't depetrify someone. This is one of the few abilities not affected by Psyche's limiter. He's really up there on the broken limiter realm with other gag characters. But Josh, how can Psyche petrify Goku if he can't even see Goku? Easy. Just do it before the fight. Just do it before the fight, like with every other fight Goku's in, where he just stands there like an idiot because he needs to talk game or some shit. There's literally no reason Goku would assume that this guy can turn someone to stone just by looking at him. So if Psyche just walks in with glasses, claims he wants to talk, boom, Goku is now stone. Get medusa Since we know Psyche's a gag character, people who are trying to apply serious logic to someone who's literally above the laws of physics being like, Oh, Goku would just speed blitz him because Goku is so fast and Psyche is a human, he has to think to use his powers and blah blah blah. Okay, but so does Goku. He's not a human, but he still has to charge up. Yeah, maybe it's only seconds at max. But let's use the average speed of thought it takes to have a thought and act upon said thought. Obviously with more complex thoughts and such it would take longer time, but let's just take Psyche talking about the fact he could wipe out all of humanity with a single thought and use that as a base for the rest of his powers. A single thought is about 0.15 seconds or 150 milliseconds, even if Goku is charging up in milliseconds because he's a Saiyan or whatever. Let's just take the fact that Psyche can speed up the thought process like we're shown with regular humans in his world, where he made everyone think faster. We could also assume that Psyche can think faster. 0.15 seconds? Psyche could do better than that if he really wanted to. Faster than Goku can power up and move from one location to the other and attack Psyche. But let's just say that petrification doesn't work and Psyche doesn't go back in time and blah blah blah. Let's just say that before the fight, Psyche dreams with this premonition and he knows he's going to fight Goku so he speeds up his thoughts ahead of time, allowing him to activate his abilities much faster than Goku could attack him in battle. But oh well, for the sake of argument, since Psyche can't control his premonition at will, we can just... Let's just say that the battle happens, Psyche's thinking really fast, and he makes himself stronger as he speeds up his thoughts as Goku is rushing him in that small time frame. Maybe Goku doesn't power up and rushes him in base form, which would give Psyche even more of a chance of survival because we know Psyche is at least planetary with his ability to destroy the planet, rewrite DNA, and blah blah blah. Psyche also has a 50 centimeter barrier around him combined with his extra durability. We can say that overall that would at least give him some milliseconds to come up with something. He could rewrite his own DNA with a single thought, since he can rewrite all of humanity's DNA with a single thought. One person shouldn't be too complex for him. He knows Goku is of the Saiyan species, he could just rewrite his own DNA to be like Goku, and now Psyche is a Saiyan and strong enough to take on Goku. Psyche could also just in that moment hop out of time, think of everything he needs to be Goku, and hop back in. Psyche could hop out of time, rewrite his DNA to be a Saiyan, rewrite Goku's DNA to be human, or something weaker, transform into something strong enough to defeat Goku since he can transform into anything, teleport Goku to space where he can't breathe, change the laws of physics and make it so Goku just dies, change the laws of physics and make it so Goku is either really slow or just dies, hypnotize Goku, curse Goku in the middle of the speed blitz so he messes up, go invisible and dodge with his super speed that he could just make faster with his speed of thought increasing, or he could use a psychic hold on Goku as soon as the fight starts and hold him back while he upgrades himself. How would he psychic hold Goku if he needs electricity as the power states? Well, if Goku goes Super Saiyan and gives Psyche that extra time to power up, Psyche could just use the electricity coming out of Goku to hold him. Or he could create water with his hydrokinesis and use the static electricity in the water to hold Goku back and work on himself from there. Whether he prepares or doesn't, he would have the time to activate his power, even if you're gonna assume Goku speed blitz. I mean, Psyche's a gag character. You use that, you're using serious logic against someone who just defies it. Doesn't matter. Oh, Goku punches Psyche through 17 different mountains? Doesn't matter, Psyche would just get up, he's a gag character. But even if he's not a gag character, he still has this host of other abilities he could use to beat Goku. So the thing is, there's a million ways Psyche could beat Goku. Speed Blitz doesn't matter as Psyche could just change the laws of physics and make Goku slow. He could rewrite Goku's DNA, he could rewrite his own, he could time travel, he could take off his glasses, he could do whatever he wants. I mean, he's a gag. There's not much more to this fight than Psyche wins. This is a good part in the video to let you know that if you're enjoying, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification, join the Discord link in the description and enjoy the rest. Goku is strong, but Psyche can just do whatever. Take away his gag and he still has all these powers. Psyche can still time travel, petrify, think faster, have super strength, and effectively do whatever within these bounds. Psyche could prepare before the fight and win easily or within that small time frame he's given, as we know that the average normal human thought is about 0.15 seconds. But we also know that Psyche made everyone in his universe think faster ahead of time, putting him faster than that, enough to compete with Goku's power-up time or speed blitz. I'm sorry, I gotta give this one to another gag. Yes, Psyche K is a gag. If you really want to debate on this one, it's not even worth my time. Literally just watch the damn show. All of this is just a small smidget of why Psyche K could beat Goku.
Also, I now have memberships on my channel, so if you want to support what I make and you like what I do, then just make sure you become a member. I'll be adding more perks and benefits and all that stuff, but yeah, anyway, have a good one.